Hello and welcome to another .com Monitor training video. In today's video, we're going to cover application monitoring with the Every Step Macro Recorder. Let's begin by answering what is the Every Step Macro Recorder? It is a standalone Windows application that allows you to simply record your actions while you utilize your website or web application and that generates a script that you can upload to .com Monitor to then become your monitoring device for that given need. It helps you build two kinds of monitoring devices. User view monitoring, which allows you to create a monitoring device that is based around rich user interactions and simulating a user in an actual web browser. And you can also create devices that are powered by server view monitoring. With server view monitoring, you can also test websites and web applications, but it's more from the perspective of the raw network and HTTP post and get types of transactions instead of the end user perspective. Now let's use the Every Step Macro Recorder to create some devices. In the alerts configuration video, we established that devices are groupings of tasks with given configuration options. Let's get up and running with the Every Step Macro Recorder. You can find it under the Downloads tab on its given download page in the .com Monitor members website. Now let's run the installer and it will discover if our system is missing anything that the Every Step Macro Recorder requires and install that for us as well. After our install, we just run the shortcut on our desktop and then we are up and running with the Every Step Macro Recorder. Now we just need to create a device. Let's begin with User View Monitoring. Here we are at the Every Step main menu, and we'll choose a platform and enter a URL. Now we've begun recording. Notice the script section at the bottom of the window. You can see a script being generated as we are interacting with the website. When a new page first appears in every step, you'll see the keyword validation box pop up. Here you can enter a keyword to search for that if it's present, the test will be a success, and if it is not, then it will cause an error. From there, you can continue interacting with your website or web application, and the Every Step Macro Recorder will continue recording each of your interactions, whether it's with the keyboard or the mouse. You can see here I've entered a username and password to enter the member site, much like you would with any secure web presence, such as a shopping cart. And we'll have this step look for the keyword devices. We can see in the script section of the window how it's been growing and capturing our activity so far. Once you're done recording the steps you want to monitor, you can hit the Stop Recording button and be presented with the final result. And if we're satisfied with this result, we can log in with our username and password to our member account on .com Monitor and upload this as a new device. And now we see the familiar Create New Device form in which we can set the rest of our preferences and settings and such as schedules and filters and whatnot, and then finally finish the configuration of our task. And once we save it, of course, we go back to the list of devices. Now let's create a new server view monitoring task with the Every Step Macro Recorder. You'll see the first few steps are very similar to the device we just created but actually the end result will be a bit different. We'll begin by recording some interactions with a website. For the next steps, we will browse to and utilize the Remote Trace Route tool. Then we'll stop recording. And notice there is no script section in the bottom of our window. What we see is a different kind of result. We see that creating a device recorded with every step for server view monitoring is more about the activities on the network as opposed to the activities of an end user with a mouse and keyboard. 
So we will want to select or deselect as many of these automatically generated tasks as appropriate for the tests that we want to run. And once it's uploaded, we finish it on the Add New Device form, and then click Save, and finally we're back at the device list. And we see both of the new devices we've created for server view and user view monitoring with the Every Step Macro Recorder. Thank you very much for watching this dot com monitor training video.